Hello everyone, today you will be seeing a breast reduction surgery. This young lady came to uh, my clinic with complaints of pain over her shoulders and back because of huge breast and she was not comfortable wearing most of the clothes because she would have to choose larger size to fit the chest and that will be too loose at her waist and lower down. So with all these concerns she presented to us uh, wanting uh, an option to reduce the size of the breast. I'm sure many of you would have seen a lot of advertisements claiming that you can apply some oil and reduce breast size or uh, you know you do some therapy which will reduce breast size or even exercise which can reduce breast size. Let me tell you with assurance that there are no medically approved non-surgical measures to reduce the size of the breast especially female breast after it has attained the adult size which is usually around 18, 19, 19 years of age. After that if the size of the breast is too huge the only option to reduce the size is a surgical procedure. Medically we call it reduction mammoplasty or breast reduction surgery. Okay so let me explain to you how the marking is done and how this procedure is done on a mannequin. So this central portion of your breast is called a uh, nipple and the surrounding dark portion is called the areola. So in breast reduction surgery, if the breast size is not too huge, it is done by just making an incision around the areola and carrying it down up to the under breast line and this is called a lollipop inc incision. So once the whole surgery is completed, the scar would just appear like a lollipop, a scar around your areola and just extending right down to the under breast line. But however, this is not suitable for huge breasts which sag, uh, sag up to the navel or sometimes even lower down up to your waist. So in such patients, what we do is we make a similar incision which comes uh, starts from the area of the areola and comes down to the length where we want to reduce and then we also make an incision under breast. So after the surgery is completed, you're going to have a scar like this, which is going to be around your areola, extending to the under breast and then all around your under breast line. Now, no scars will be visible on the upper surface or on the side of the breast. So if you look at a breast after breast reduction surgery, the scar is hardly visible if they don't widen. There are some surgeons who would also perform a liposuction to remove some fat from the breast. However, when you only remove fat from the breast, the rest of the skin does not tighten because of the gravity and weight and the breast tends to sag, so aesthetically it's not a pleasing appearance. Ideal correct procedure to reduce the size of the breast is breast reduction surgery. So ladies, if you're suffering from a macromastia, which means enlarged and sagging huge breast, the right procedure that you need to consider is reduction mammoplasty or breast reduction surgery Please don't go by all the advertisements that see, you see on the media, uh, applying gels, creams, therapy, it, they don't work. Medically approved procedure is the reduction mammoplasty. It's a very safe two to three hours procedure, daycare procedure. You can go home the same day and you usually recover within two weeks. All these scars take about two weeks to heal. Very rarely these scars can undergo hypertrophy, which means it becomes thickened or they can undergo pigmentation. Sometimes they even widen. All patients are advised to take care of the scar by prescribing some scar massage gel, silicone sheets sometimes. Rarely, if we see any signs of hypertrophy, we advise them to undergo certain non-surgical uh, scar corrective procedures like either injection of steroids or lasers or uh, RF micro needling in order to keep the scar as less visible as possible. 
This is Dr. Jayanti Ravindran from Tamira Plastic Surgery.